Hova is back. And my god, I've been waiting so long for another Jay Z album. And he's come, he's served, and he's probably conquered. Uh, but he's released his first single off his new album, 444, and it's called o The Story of OJ. So, this is the Jay Z, The Story of OJ track review. And if you've been watching these track reviews for a while, you will know I have three areas of judgment music, vocal performance, lyrics. So we'll hit with music. This is brilliant production, brilliant music. This uses a Nina Simone sample, which you hear throughout the whole song. Uh, it's produced by No ID. And from the get go, it hits the right note and it carries on hitting the right note from beginning to end. The bit where they, where Nina Simone's vocals are sampled is brilliant. The music is brilliant. This, musically, is a brilliant song. You can't deny that. If you don't think this is a brilliant piece of sampling, then there's something wrong for you. This is as good as Kanye's early days of sampling from the college dropout and late registration. Vocal performance. And I've just said it's a deadpan tune, so to speak. And you'll understand what I mean when I say that. And Jay-Z's vocal performance is deadpan from beginning to end. And it doesn't miss a beat on this. His vocal performance is dreary, which really helps with the uh, subject matter of uh, white supremacy and black on black problems. I think there's a bit of that in there. Um, but his deadpan, his vocal performance really works, especially in the chorus. It feels incredibly deadpan in that chorus and it works brilliantly with the tune. Then you go on to lyrics and I've heard different interpretations of what the lyrics are about. Some people think it's about black people siding with white people. Anthony Fantano thinks it's about white supremacy and the problems that the American black community is suffering. But I can't decipher this, but there's some really good lines in there. There's a line where it says, OJ says, I'm not black, I'm OJ. There's a pause, and Jay goes, okay, which I think is probably the best lines in the song, in my opinion. Um, then he talks about how you can make money, how things increase in value, and how he should have bought property when it was cheap. And he does it in that great Jay-Z style. This isn't bragging. I've heard Jay-Z brag, brag and it works with him bragging. This is him being introspective, thoughtful, and it works. It just proves how diverse Jay-Z can be. Personally, I'm probably going to be a bit biased because I really think Jay-Z is a great rapper, a great MC, a great musician, but I implore you to listen to this song. This song to me is brilliant. And I'll see you next time. Peace.